graph the inequalities. All right, so here we're given y is greater than x squared plus 7x plus 8. What we're going to do is we're going to graph y equals x squared plus 7x plus 8 with a dotted curve. And then we will decide by using a test point whether the solutions are above or below the dotted curve. So since this is quadratic and in standard form, we will note that this uh, that the curve uh, the parabola opens up since a is greater than zero. Let's find the vertex. The x coordinate of the vertex would be given by negative seven over two times one, since our a coefficient is one. And so that's negative seven halves, or negative 3.5 if you want to use decimals. So now finding the y coordinate of the vertex, the y coordinate of the vertex would be x squared plus seven x plus eight. And so that's 49 over four minus 49 over two plus eight. Let's get this all in terms of over four, in terms of fourths. So I'll multiply by twos and by fours in the third term. So that would give me 49 over four minus 98 over four plus 32 over four so that's negative 49 over 4 plus 32 over 4, which is negative 17 over 4, uh, which is equal to negative, what, 6 and 1 fourth. I'm sorry, 4 and 1 fourth. So therefore, the vertex is negative 7 halves and uh, negative 4 and 1 fourth, negative 17 fourths. Also note that the y-intercept, letting x equal 0, would be 0, 8. So that's enough information to get a rough sketch of the curve and that will help us graph the inequality. We could find the x-intercepts to be more specific, but um, we won't do that here. So we have the vertex at negative 7 halves. Negative 7 halves is negative 3.5 and then negative 17, negative 6 and a fourth. So there's 6 and a fourth, so about here. All right, and we have the y-intercept at 0, 8. And then using symmetry, we would have the other x-intercept at 7, 8. Drawing a parabola with dotted, drawing a dotted parabola that roughly follows the curve. We could find more points on the curve if we liked. We get that, and it continues upward in either direction. Now, let's use a test point. I would often recommend to use the origin as a test point because arithmetic with zero is very easy. So I'm going to test. 0, 0 into the orig original inequality. So the y value is 0. Is that greater than 0 squared plus 7 times 0 plus 8? The right-hand side simplifies as 8. Is 0 greater than 8? Well, that's false. Since that comes back false, 0, 0 is not a solution of the inequality. So therefore, if we've drawn the graph correctly, none of the points outside the parabola are solutions of the inequality, and so all of the points inside must be solutions, and so we would shade the inside of the parabola.
graph y is greater than or equal to negative 2x squared plus 8x plus 9. Since this is an or equal to, we will use a solid curve. Let's use a similar procedure as in exercise A. I'm going to find the vertex. The x coordinate of the vertex would be given by negative 8 over 2 times negative 2. So that would give us a positive 2. The y coordinate of the vertex would be evaluated at 2. So negative 2 by 2 squared plus 8 by 2 plus 9. 2 squared is 4, negative 2 times 4 is negative 8, negative 8 plus 16 plus 9, that's 8 plus 9 is 17. Oh, and I should have mentioned that uh, the parabola opens down. Alright, so we have the vertex at 217. y-intercept, letting x equals 0, would give us the ordered pair 0, 9. So I have 2, 17. I have 0, 9. By symmetry, then, I would have 4, 9. And that's enough information to get a rough sketch of the curve. Again, we could find some more points if we wanted to. And I'm going to use that to get a rough sketch and drawing a smooth curve. And I used a solid since it was an or equal to inequality. Again, let me go ahead and test the origin at 0, 0. Is 0 greater than negative 2 by 0 squared plus 8 by 0 plus 9? Left hand side is 0, right hand side is 9. Is 0 greater than 9? That would be false. So again, 0, 0 is not a solution. And so then none of the points on the inside of the curve are solutions. And so everything outside is a solution. And if I had tested any of those points on the outside, it would have come back as a true statement in the inequality.